Owning a limited production Aston Martin is a dream many auto enthusiasts have, yet very few will actually achieve. Aston Martins tend to be very expensive and impractical for a normal person making this a costly luxury purchase enjoyed by few. Luckily, there is one Aston Martin that gives customers the bespoke build quality that comes in a cute size with limited production, which most customers desire to make their purchase unique. We are talking about the great Aston Martin Signet. If you haven't heard about this automobile, well, you're in for a ride. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos just like this one and hit the bell icon to get notified. With that, let's dive right in. The Aston Martin Signet was designed as a luxury solution to urban mobility and produced at Aston Martin's Gaydon headquarters from 2011 to 2013. Signet was conceived, designed, and built as a true Aston Martin. It includes the many synonymous design cues featured across all model ranges including authentic zinc side strakes, distinctive bonnet meshes, an iconic grille, and the legendary badge. In the early 2010s, the European Union started to impose new fuel economy regulations on auto manufacturers requiring their entire product line up to meet certain fuel economy and emission regulations. This was fine for larger manufacturers who were already working to produce fuel efficient vehicles. But for boutique supercar manufacturers like Aston Martin, this posed a massive threat. To reach compliance and avoid fines, Aston Martin teamed up with Toyota to rebadge their IQ microcar in a newly minted Aston Martin Signet. Signet was designed to signify Aston Martin's exclusivity and heritage in a unique and innovative format. However, as we mentioned earlier, the Aston Martin Signet is based on the Toyota IQ city car but comes with a completely redesigned body and a handcrafted interior. According to Aston Martin, it takes the team 150 hours to manufacture a Signet, and the impressive quality is evident when taking a look at the interior. Aston Martin initially planned to sell 4,000 units a year, but after two years of production from 2011 to 2013, Aston Martin had only sold 300 units globally. At the time, the Signet was a very uncool car and the butt of many automobile jokes. But today, the Signet is a desirable piece of automotive history and an affordable way to own an Aston Martin with such a low production volume. Some have even said the Signet is a future classic as it has all the correct ingredients, like low production, strong banding, and instant recognition. Today, you can purchase a low mileage used example from Aston Martin and enjoy one of their rarest cars for the modern era. Even though it's a rebadged vehicle, Aston Martin did try to make it look different from its donor. The powertrain was also shared and the only majorly tweaked area was the interior, which was garlanded with the finest leather upholstery. In fact, the handcrafted efforts were actually not limited to the inside, as the exterior painting was also done by hand. Surprisingly, you won't find another Aston Martin ever with a four-cylinder motor. Technically, the engine used in the Signet wasn't even built by Aston. It was taken right off the very reliable shelf of Toyota. The Signet was powered by a puny 1.3 liter naturally aspirated inline four motor that churned out 98 horsepower and 92 foot pound of torque. In fact, it will also remain the only Aston Martin to come packed with a front wheel drive layout coupled to either a six speed manual or a continuously variable transmission. All of this gave the Aston Martin Signet a top speed of 106 miles per hour which wasn't soul-shaking but was ample for the urban jungle. The Signet is incredibly easy to drive around town because of its compact footprint. Signet actually looked great, the interior was a delight, the tight turning circle made it easy to park, and the six-speed manual gearbox was fun to use. A CVT automatic gearbox is available as an option, but it's noisy and best avoided unless you prefer the ease of an auto. The driving dynamics were nowhere close to its stable mates, but the Signet had just the perfect mixture for a breezy city run. And being a Toyota at heart, this would be the cheapest running Aston Martin ever with shockingly low bills to cater to. As far as city cars go, the Signet is far from the cheapest to run. Carbon dioxide emissions of 116 grams per kilometer put it in one of the lowest tax brackets while fuel economy of 57 miles per gallon should ensure that your trips to the petrol station aren't too regular. Anyone who can afford to buy a Signet won't be too concerned about servicing costs. 
With its Toyota IQ underpinnings, there won't be any hefty bills to worry about anyway. Furthermore, the engine and electrics have already approved themselves while being used in the Toyota IQ, and Aston Martin has thankfully left them untouched. That means there should be very little that goes wrong. And even if it does, Aston Martin's customer service team will ensure it's fixed as soon as possible. Safety should be impressive as the IQ scored 5 stars from the Euro NCAP. So, there's nothing else on the road that looks like an Aston Martin Signet. It's got the proportions of a city car but the styling of one of Aston's supercars, including the wide chrome grille and boomerang taillights. The interior is hand-finished with the finest leather and Alcantara, which is where the Signet attempts to justify its astronomical price tag. With that, our video has come to an end here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.